It's Ryan at realfarmer.ca here. I'm out in a field of uh, beets that I planted, uh, trying new techniques uh, to reduce um, some pesticide use here. Um, just monkeying around a bit. And uh, we, we ended up planting the beets and um, came back with an inter-row sprayer and sprayed in between the rows. And uh, had another flush of weeds come where we sprayed the first time. And then right in these rows right here, we let the weeds uh, grow as a kind of a nurse crop for the beets. So uh, I'll show you what the result was for the beets. I came in by the way after and mowed everything off here. I just came through the bush hog, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm cutting off all the tops of the weeds that have all the weed seeds mulching it, okay? And uh, I'm trying to see if I can, by getting rid of that crop, if that can open up enough light for the beets to thrive. So here's how my beets look right now. There's a seedling here, you know, see nice and protected to get started to grow. And now we've cut off the, uh, the light that's there. We added light to the situation. So hopefully these beets can start to overcome uh, at least this little area where um, the, the weeds are that we mowed. So uh, we'll keep following that and see how these go. But uh, I know that these experiments like this the first year always uh, has a bigger learning curve than a bigger yield, that's for sure.